everyone so my name is Joan welcome back to my channel outspoken wheels on wheels I'm heading out camping I'm so excited to be doing this I wasn't sure I wanted to camp anymore after I broke my legs but uh, I got the cast off last week the final cast off last week and I'm heading out I just got off work so if I look a little tired it's because I'm kind of tired but uh, I'm just heading over to Scotch Creek and I'm gonna stay there for a few days by myself just to get my van reorganized. Sorry, it was stopped in construction or something here. So um, anyways, I wanna get my van reorganized because when I left it after I broke my legs, I kind of left it in a hurry. So it's not organized. It really needs, like I don't know what's in here and what isn't in here. I threw in as much stuff as I would think that I would need for camping. And hopefully I've got everything I need. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So anyways, that's what this next video is going to be about. Hopefully there's um, something nice to report or some fun video to watch by the time I'm done camping at the end of the week. So that was the beginning of my trip to Scotch Creek. I didn't really get any good video. It rained the whole time. So I did get some video. I've been planning sort of a product review uh, video. So I got, I just uh, sort of looked at a bunch of the stuff that I've had that I've purchased over the last little while and um, how they're working for me and stuff. So uh, that's what this video is going to end up being now is just about some of the stuff that I've purchased recently and what I think of it. So here you go. Since it was cold for most of my camping trip, I'm gonna start with the heater. And one of the things that I've purchased is this uh, carbon monoxide alarm because the only w way that I'm able to get heat in here is through my uh, heater that I've shown in previous videos. It's a butane heater. And uh, I'm cold a little bit tonight. It's only about seven o'clock, so it's too early to go to bed and be warm. Um, so I don't wanna light the heater because I didn't leave the windows open because I didn't know how cold it was gonna get. And it gets pretty windy in the desert and I didn't wanna have the windows open if it was really windy. I forgot that I might need my heater and now I don't really want to turn the heater on, but I have this, so I'm going to set it up. I'm going to put some batteries in it. Hopefully I have the right kind of batteries and possibly I will crank up my heater for a little bit if I get too cold. I'm not too bad right now, um, but if I get too cold before I want to go to bed, then we'll give it a shot. So my conclusions about the heater are that I do really like it. It will burn, if I have it running full tilt, like on high, it'll burn about one canister of butane in four hours. But I can turn it on on high for probably about five minutes and it starts to get warm enough because it's not super far away from me. It's not a very big space. Um, so I can turn it down after the first five or 10 minutes and have it way on low. And I actually haven't calculated how much time it takes to go through a canister of butane when I do that. But I would say it was probably more like six hours, I think. Um, I always make sure the windows are opened, except that one time. Um, and now I have, like I mentioned, I have the uh, carbon monoxide detector. And I never let myself fall asleep when it's, uh, when it's on. I always turn it off if I'm gonna go to sleep. So overall, uh, this product is something that I would recommend. It's so the second thing that I want to review today is uh, patio chair covers. So they also have to do with cold weather because when it's cold and I'm stuck in my van, I don't want my wheelchair to also be in there because it takes up so much space. So I bought um, some covers that you use for covering your patio chairs and uh, I just throw my wheelchair outside and I throw the patio chair cover on top. Have a look.
being able to leave my wheelchair outside all day so that I have all this space here. My wheelchair is underneath that patio chair cover. I like to leave my wheelchair outside if I feel safe enough to leave it out there. I'm in a provincial campground, there's patrols going by all the time, and there's hardly anybody here, so I feel like I can leave my wheelchair outside. Um, but there's, it's all day, it's kind of been at risk of raining, and so I don't like to leave it out there if it feels like it's gonna get caught in the rain. So I bought something else. What I bought was a furniture cover. So it's like a outdoor furniture cover for patio furniture. What I bought was a chair cover. It was big enough to um, cover my whole wheelchair. And I have left it out there in the rain. It's hard to get the water that pools on it off from sitting inside my van so that I can transfer back into my wheelchair and get the cover off and transfer back. But right now, it's one thing that makes my life easier. Voila, again. It is the thing, judging by today, that has made the most difference um, in me being in my van. It's been raining all day today, so I haven't wanted to get out. So this is what um, has made my life so pleasant. A, the fact that I have, all well, my bedding is back there, but I kind of can lean on that. So I have all that space back there from where I'm sitting and all of this and I can get in at my kitchen and I was even able to reach up to the front of the van and start the van so that I could actually open my windows a crack because with the rain it was also kind of cold and I was able to open the two um, passenger and driver side pass uh, middle row seat windows uh, so that I had a bit of a cross breeze in here so that I could um, run my heater all day or for a couple hours anyways until I ran out of that gas canister. Um, so actually that's been a game changer too, the, the heater. It's kind of broken and there's no gas canister in it, but I think you can see that. Well, something I didn't consider when... <laughs> when I was leaving my wheelchair outside in the rain with the cover on it is I like to bring my wheelchair in at night. I don't want to leave it out there all night. I'm in a, in a provincial campground. It's probably safe, but my wheelchair are my legs and I'm not taking any chances with it walking away on me, wheeling away on me all by itself. So, um, it's been raining on the tarp all day, so it's really wet. And I don't really have anywhere to store it overnight. So that's a problem. I don't know, have it. didn't think that went ahead. Hmm. So I'm in the back of my van, I can't go out. I'm waiting for a bit of a let up so I can let my wheelchair out. And I have a cover for it, like I showed you already. Um, but until I can let that out, I can't get at my fridge, which is Right there, I can't really see it, but I can't get at it because my wheelchair's in the way. And I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. So hopefully it lets up enough and I can let my wheelchair out or maybe I'm just gonna put it out anyways. So 
when I leave tomorrow, I'm hoping it dries off a bit because that's going to be a really wet thing to bring into the van. So obviously there's still issues and nothing is perfect in this world, but honestly, that has been the biggest game changer for me. I'm so excited that, uh, um, I think Jan, my friend Jan suggested that and that has worked out really great for me. Thank you, Jan.